Hi everyone, welcome to KS Tutors. Hmm. Uh, to, uh, today our session on Ricard algorithm. Hmm. So uh, as we earlier, uh, earlier we see that uh, uh, Lamcard algorithm. In a Lamcard algorithm, uh, we, we see uh, that there there is a uh, queue maintenance part and one is uh, release but in a uh, in our ricard uh, uh, algorithm th these things are removed so uh, this uh, uh, the queue only maintained by uh, that one who willing to go in critical section that time and uh, the release part totally removed from th this uh, this uh, ricard algorithm so we can say that uh, our Ricard algorithm is optim optimized optimized version of the Lamcard algorithm. So in next slide we see how our uh, Ricard algorithm work, uh, work step by step. So, so first first step same like uh, in our uh, Lamcard algorithm, uh, the PI uh, uh, PI broadcast uh, to CS request message to all other process. So as we see uh, in our um, uh, image. Uh, that uh, here p3 initially want uh, want a critical section so so uh, uh, it requests to p1 and p2 as well as next time p, p2 also want a critical section so p2, p2 also uh, request to p1 and p2 so in short we can say that if p1 want uh, p1 want request so he uh, it can send to p2 as well as p2 p3 and he, and p1 uh, want uh, want uh, 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 want to reply back from these two, then then P1 uh, uh, going critical section after coming back all reply. So next uh, next slide we see that uh, how uh, how reply will come back. So this is a three process to reply come back. Uh, so here we see that in our uh, in our uh, first part uh, point say that it's neither requesting uh, access to critical section or not access. Uh, executing critical section what what is the meaning that uh, mean that here we see that p2 p2 don't want any critical section so uh, what uh, what p2 do p2 uh, do that he, uh, he immediately reply back so it's a uh, our first case when an no no process uh, want any critical section then they immediately reply back uh, uh, to our uh, p1 uh, sorry p3 and uh, p1 so he immediately reply back i uh, i didn't need critical section so you can proceed further so so this is our first case and uh, second case for uh, what is said said the request uh, for critical section but uh, time uh, time stamp is larger than request from pi uh, so it's mean, meaning that uh, for example here we see that p1 so uh, our p1 uh, request is coming first and p1 request coming uh, after p3 so so timestamp for uh, p1 is larger than timestamp of p3 so we can denote like that p1 uh, timestamp t1 uh, greater than t2 so he, what is uh, what he, uh, p1 doing he reply back because timestamp is larger than uh, p1 so this is our second point uh, po point will uh, say like that the other other uh, third point uh, saying like otherwise the reply is de de deferred deferred means it's a uh, uh, hold for some time until the critical section is not com uh, complete so here this is this is our uh, p1 p3 case so here we see that p3 uh, uh, the p1 request here we see that pn request so he, he uh, here he check the condition uh, t uh, t1 uh, is greater than t3 so the uh, p3 uh, 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 acknowledge themselves that uh, my uh, timestamp is less than uh, 2 t1 so i will go in critical section so he just hold it in uh, their queue so he just make a queue and make a uh, uh, acknowledge themselves uh, itself that uh, the timestamp of t2 is there and p1 is the next process who, who willing to go critical section so these three points uh, will uh, reply process how to our uh, reply back by using this process uh, these conditions so next next uh, uh, we see that 
that the process PI enter the critical section after getting a reply from all process. Like as I earlier told that uh, uh, our P1 reply to P2 and P3, right? Though then uh, is request request. So after getting all reply P1, then P1 go to critical section. Same like that. So here we see that our P3 uh, is there. Request is here. Then uh, he get reply from P2 here and from P1 reply back here. So all two process reply coming uh, in is in this position. So the P3 going, uh, going to critical section after getting the uh, reply from remaining two uh, process. So this is uh, what this point is saying. And next one the often excite uh, exiting from this critical section and process PI send out a deferred reply message. Uh, means uh, what is this meaning that that uh, after uh, critical section when uh, p3 complete their task then uh, he, uh, they maintain a queue so he uh, it says uh, remove remove from the queue and reply back my work is done then you can proceed further further so the after getting the uh, as we earlier said the one reply already coming from there they from p1 but he, uh, p1 waiting for p3 reply but p3 is a hold hold the reply so after coming the reply p2 then he get remaining to uh, reply back so now p1 going uh, come, uh, get, uh, going to critical section so the process uh, this uh, condition uh, is applicable for in this case okay. after that the uh, the deferred request reply to critical section there no need to store so that that i already told that after uh, reply back then this to be removed from q so this is uh, uh, all about the ricard algorithm now next we see, see what is the performance of in ricard algorithm so as we see the in a, in a, in our lamp port what is there that there is a uh, n minus 1 request n minus 1 reply but there are also n minus 1 uh, release for release but here this uh, this condition is not there so that's why this only two Two things is there that's why it's message process per critical section is two uh, bracket and minus one message per critical section so it's uh, optimized the uh, the lamp card algorithm and uh, synchronized delay is also t maximum delay is t and as we earlier in seen lamp port that the timestamp is uh, two into t plus three so here time uh, two t is going to be t plus c so here also is uh, optimize uh, the our system uh, th uh, throughput so next uh, is ricard mutual exclusion algorithm for uh, ricardo optimization the, uh, the uh, this this what is the meaning of that like as we see here the after replying back the p uh, the process uh, p1 is coming here so now the p1 complete their work here is this position now p1 check then is anyone uh, want critical section is no uh, no one is there then it continue further so we, uh, what in short we can say that uh, if uh, uh, no no one need any uh, process uh, our p1 uh, don't need any uh, waiting for any reply from other uh, pro uh, uh, process and any uh, process so it, it's only leave the critical section if uh, the p1 get any request so uh, uh, so recall uh, recall carbon optimization is working in this in such a way that so as we know the our uh, critical migration is going from 0 to uh, 2 into n minus 1 so uh, 0 to 2 n minus 1 means uh, as in our case there are three uh, three process there uh, so it's going to 0 to 4 uh, the critical migration is there in 0 to 4 the that as we see this is a, a 0 to n at maximum so our me, uh, memory space uh, is going to be omega n so uh, next three uh, the disadvantage of this so disadvantage is what if uh, in case the this uh, reply is not uh, coming back in critical section so p1 uh, the waiting for the reply but uh, if, if some scenario it's uh, the critical section is not come back so in this in this in this case 
the p1 is waiting for the reply so this uh, this is the main disadvantage for a ricard algorithm so it's a uh, it's uh, the the problem is resolved by it's detect detecting problem after some time so after some times it's realized that uh, is not there but uh, it's wasting some time now so that's why it's a, some some little bit disadvantage in the card algorithm so uh, let's see another example uh, of a ricard algorithm step by step the here i uh, take uh, example for uh, from internet so you can see that so how it's working it's the same way same way like that uh, if uh, if anyone want critical section they increment their uh, number and uh, storing last sequence uh, sequence and uh, what what is say for all one uh, one to n is sent to request to pi uh, so uh, sent to pi uh, means as earlier i told that remaining p2 p3 until so uh, that much for example five process there it's going to be uh, uh, one to four process so that's that's it uh, saying in this point so next until uh, until reply back and minus one for example if uh, it's waiting for four reply if four reply is coming then it is going to critical section so, uh, after is the work is done then uh, he, uh, whatever he hold uh, in uh, their queue then they release it and going to empty and going to non critical section and reply going to be zero this uh, this three uh, this three condition as we earlier uh, see in uh, in our in, uh, previous slide uh, so, so same same this condition is there and uh, this is a reply a increment reply like whenever you getting a reply they increment reply whenever reply is going to be n minus 1 then in going to be critical section let's see a step by step in our example in next slide so step 1 so as uh, as we see that in uh, first step p1 p2 p3 uh, all are going uh, all are in non critical section so now here p2 uh, p2 willing to go in critical section so it's going to num1 and store in last sequence number and send the request p1 as well as p3 okay next step now here uh, the request is coming now p3 reply back to p2 and uh, here here we see that the num1 is zero means to p here p3 is not interested interested to go critical section so the here num1 is uh, equal to zero so he immediately reply back in this position next one mm. now after some time now p1 willing to go critical section here so here also p1 uh, num1 is equal to 1 and last sequence number is the 1 so next here after getting that, that this is a position where p1 getting to reply now p2 here p uh, in this position uh, p1 received the request from p2 okay so what now it's checking the condition checking condition what t1 is greater than t2 or not if get uh, if uh, is greater than uh, t2 though then is reply back if less than then is going to critical section same like here we are checking the condition yeah is uh, uh, greater than uh, less than this so is going to critical sections so it's going to critical section so it's may uh, it's making a comparison comparison like that and then we see that they here we say that he is storing q because is uh, this one is less than uh, less than t2 t2 is like that p3 we can say that p1 less than p3 so so he is stored in a critical section now uh, in this position as we see here in this position that again check the condition yeah is a uh, greater than t2 oh, sorry p1 uh, t1 is t3 so here the condition is no so it's not uh, stored and is reply back immediately so here we see that uh, in this condition he reply uh, reply back there so 
as we see the one uh, one reply is uh, air coming another replies uh, p1 received reply sent by p2 here see that now after that two replies coming back so now p1 are able to go critical section now p1 go to critical section okay now as as we see earlier the one request is coming for p1 so he is waiting for one uh, uh, reply so after p1 is work is done then uh, come back uh, getting back to reply that my work is done and reply back so now the increment uh, 1 plus 1 2 so it, it also getting to reply so now p, uh, p2 going to a critical section 